Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC, we do everything DIY and today we have a follow-up service call for a Goodman package unit. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. Today we have a follow-up service call for a Goodman package unit and today is going to be a fun one. We're going to be running thermostat cable. It's a nice sunny day out here in Brooklyn, New York. Got this old school Goodman package unit. The issue here is that he got these multiple thermostat cables and he doesn't have enough conductors. So what I gotta do is, unfortunately, each season, <laughs> we gotta switch over to heating and cooling because he doesn't have enough conductors. This is a laundromat that was refurbished and somewhere along the lines, they cut that thermostat cable and it's just time to run a new one. We're gonna run an eight conductor cable so we have some spares and get this working properly so you don't have to come up here every season change so this is two stages of heating and two stages of cooling follow these wires they're gonna come in here right there so we're gonna have to open this up a little bit and we're gonna run a new cable from the unit downstairs to his new thermostat he's upgrading to a Wi-Fi thermostat that he can control with his phone. Let's see if we can pry this open and open up this little area here so we can feed the new wire. All right, got this opened up a bit. Looks like we got a space to run this wire. All right, man, pull that wire up and down. Got it. Oh, yeah. Got it. Is it right here, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull on it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yep. There we go. All right, man. See you in a few. Okay. I'm gonna pull from here across the ceiling. The thermostat is on that wall right there. All right. Power's off at the unit. Let's pull this out here. Here's our connections. They're all wired here, but. There's a break in the line somewhere. So what I want to do is I want to, I'm actually going to start from here. Let's see if I can connect to the wire that's already there. Pull it through, put a snake down the roof to catch the wire and bring it up. Remove these wires for this kind of thermostat. It's really simple. You literally just press this tab and pull the wire in and out. Let's go ahead and take off this cover here. Make as much space as we can. And we're gonna see if we can use this wire as a snake. Here's the new wire, a conductor. I tied it to the old one. What I'm gonna try to do is try to push that through and pull it out through here. The existing wire here, I'm gonna walk it through. Oh man, tough part is done. So right here, here's that wire now. Now we can run this to the roof. So these were all spliced together, multiple cables. I mean, yeah, that's time to go. So I found these two cables here and I tied them with tape again. And we're gonna see if we can pull it from across from there without a snake. All right, start pulling the wire. Okay. Starting to move, go ahead, go ahead. Keep going. Could bring it down towards you. All right, so Christian got the wire there. I have it taped again. So I'm gonna feed it to him while he pulls. And we'll hopefully get that wire across the ceiling this way. This will be a lot easier. All right, keep going. And then I'm gonna be feeding more wire through here and giving more slack. Keep it going, man. Go, go, go. Until you see the new wire. Hold up, I'm gonna give you some slack. Go ahead. 
Hold on. More slack. All right, so this is pretty much the process. This is the tool that you would use to pull wire, but we have a wire that we could use as that tool, basically. So I got this thermostat cable going through that hole, going across the ceiling, and then Christian got it over here. And we gotta go up to the roof, right up top over there. Honestly, not a fan of setting up extension ladders, but here we go. It's time to get up to the roof. Man, this was a lot easier than expected. Okay. Let's get over there. Get to this spot here. It's called Christian. Let's start pulling this out. Hopefully we could use the same method to get it up here. If not, I'm going to use that tool I showed you to pull the snake down. We're going to tie the wire to it and fish it up. Are you ready? Yes, go ahead. All right, man. Let's hope this goes through. Just make sure it goes up there smooth, doesn't get tangled, okay? What am I stuck what am I stuck on? What's stuck? Nothing, nothing nothing's there. Okay. Okay, you got it. Had some resistance. Okay. You got it. You got it. Go. Yep. Right, hold on. Yeah, make sure it's going in there straight, alright? Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Stop for a second. Oh, okay. Oh. Good? Yeah, go ahead. Still. Okay. Wait, hold on a second. Just make sure it doesn't get tangled. Yeah. Are we good? Hold on, can you go down for a second? Yeah, pull it, pull it. All right. Right here. Gotta turn this. Bit. Hope the hole's big enough to get that wire through with the tape. We'll see. Okay. There's two wires here. I might even remove one of them and then tape it. See if that gives us that extra space we need. But we might be able to get it. Are we good, man? Almost. Got a little tangled with the um the the other wire, the thinner wire. Turning it. Two thousand years later. All right, so we have it. In the wire. Got to run it to the unit. Oh, a piece of wire to hold some wire. Beautiful. Let's get rid of this. Probably better off with some tie wraps here. Just brushing down his evaporator coil a bit. I'm gonna replace his filters as well. And this is the best connection here. Have it going across. Wraps coming inside. So here's our low voltage terminal block. Let's see, we have two stages of heating and two stages of cooling. R is going to be your 24 volt power. C, common, so between R and C, you got your 24 volts. G, we're going to use, that's your fan. W1 is your first stage heating, conventional. W2 is second stage heating. Y1 is your first stage cooling and Y2 is your second stage cooling. So we're gonna attach our thermostat to here and we're gonna have to match that up at the thermostat. There we go. Typical color codes for thermostat wire. R is gonna be uh, red wire. G is gonna be green. W is gonna be white. Yellow is going to be Y. As far as common, I see them different colors, but I like to use black doesn't exactly matter, but it's nice to color code things. And as far as your second stages, those will vary between pretty much what wires you have. So this is pretty much my setup here. Put a little tie wrap on there, keep the wire safe. And we have an extra thermostat cable here. We're just gonna wrap that around. Just to be safe, I added some tape at the edge of that orange wire. I don't want it touching any metal over here and causing any issues. Honestly, it'll probably be fine because it's not even gonna be connected downstairs. Kinda gonna kinda do the same setup. But either way, that's the setup. Customer wanted a lockbox, so I ran this wire through this guard and then through this little base cover. So you could put some extra screws on this as well, but once you lock down this plate, it's pretty much gonna hold everything together. 
so honestly we should be okay with that let's lock down these screws and uh, get this set up for this style of thermostat you have this base here you basically just press down on this tab and push the wire through here so i like to set it up when it's out here so we're just going to match up the same configuration on the roof and i'll show you when that's done all right there we go everything looks nice and neat colors and terminations everything matches up from down here to the roof and here's one solid wire no multiple cables broken cables splices nothing just one line that's the way it should be This little piece, see these little one, two, three, literally just press it, clip it on. Go ahead and close that. Take this, there's pins. Press it in place. Done. There's the top piece, kind of hooks on the top. Right there. Lock it up. Done. And you got little holes here, and all around, so you can breathe. And we're locked out you guys notice there's no return air grill I told him you gotta get a little bit of return air when he redid this place so that's the return air duct he didn't want a direct connection so he's gonna drop two grills over here and like that at least he'll have some return air help that unit out a bit all right we got some return air these just drop in like a, like a ceiling tile and in between i put a little border in there when you're facing the store you really don't see anything from there that is a nice upgrade just use one of these dividers in between and that's what's holding the two in between and the rest is sitting on the frame got the gun here when he's trying to seal the roof so right here this is extreme rubberized wet patch roof leak repair got to cover that hole smoothed out the edges that's it nice and clean all right christian just turned the power on the roof so that's smart setup i'm gonna say to configure thermostat use app use app to configure thermostat okay we gotta download the honeywell app okay so it's saying use the residio pro app let's download that just notice there's a no and a yes here so you could either configure it through the thermostat itself or through the app but i want to set up the wi-fi for this guy so let's use the app make sure everything works through the phone i'm gonna click yes let's see i'm gonna click set up product Bluetooth on. Bluetooth is off. All right, so it's thermostat 6692D. It's a T6. Use app, okay. Make sure the thermostat says the name. Does it say BLE on top? Yes, it does. And that's the number. Okay. Connecting. Security code. Cool. Configuring. Nice. See what's going on. Alright, uh, configuration I guess. Never set anything up like this. Oh yeah, we don't want to spur schedule, no schedule. Next. Select source of outdoor air temperature and humidity. No, he doesn't have a sensor. 
heating system. It's conventional. It's a furnace on the roof as far as heat. Gas, it's, it's an old unit. Gotta be standard efficiency. Number of cooling stages, two. Heating stages, two. Cool cycle, cool cycles per hour. I mean, I don't know how many times it's gonna satisfy. I'd rather just give it as many cycles. Stage two, yeah, whatever. Let that thing blast away, it's gonna be a hot summer. Heating cycles per hour. <laughs> I guess you could do that. Stage one, stage two. Sure. That thing, yeah, it's probably satisfied a lot. Is there an indoor temperature sensor wire to a system? No, there is not, sir. Two thousand years later. All right, syncing with thermostat. All right, come on, Let's see what happens. All right, so seventy-three inside. Okay, like that. God, remind me later. There's a million things going on. All right, mode. Cool. Let's see, 60, set it to 65. Let's see if that, oh, it did register. On top, show 65. Cool on on top left is blinking. So right now, yeah, oh, and it has the right time on there. I didn't even set that up. That's pretty cool, interesting. I guess it's synced with my phone. So now we have that three minute delay, right? So let's see what happens. Got these probes connected, compressor started. Look, it's gonna shut off on high pressure right now. These fans running? Condenser fans? Bro, what the heck? Who did this? Oh my God. That's insane, man. They gotta check this guy's unit. This thing would've not worked. It's 410A. It's looking more normal now. Back pressure a little, it's not, it's a little chilly out. It's not really summer yet, but compressor's staying on now. Suction line is cold, let's see what's up. These pressures here are looking a bit more normal. It's pretty cold out. Let's also check out that other circuit. Now we're checking the pressures on the other side. Not bad, not bad for 410A, nothing's freezing up. We got cold lines. Let it run for a little bit and make sure they're all right. These fan motors are ridiculously rusted, but they are both running. Everything's running. That's great. Suction line is nice and sweaty. That coil looks pretty dirty, but it's really not affecting our pressures that much, but I guess we'll find out on a really cold day. Really, this job was running that wire. That thermostat setup was a bit tricky, a lot trickier than others. And I'll just have to get the customer over here so he could finally uh, like properly set everything up. But I could just give him all the info that I set him up with. Gave him the same password as his Wi-Fi router. And he should be all right. He could just call me when he's in. And uh, he'll, he'll see what happens. But this unit's working. It does work off the app. It is connected to his Wi-Fi and all that stuff. I should make a separate video on really setting that up and going into more detail. But yeah, it was all about running that wire. Looks like we're good. We're gonna give it a test run for about 20 minutes. And we're gonna wrap this one up here. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. And I'll catch you all next time.